Do you know anything about your grandparents? You did just came right to my Okay, <laughs> there you go. Let's go way back. Yeah, way... Well, for me it's not so way back. Okay. Did it... Were your grandparents okay. in that's Canada? Your, that's your mom's parents you're talking about. Right. That... See, Lelina, but she was Vaseline, if you know. And, and Jacob. They call him Yitzko. But she, Jacob. Lena and Jacob. Did they come to Canada? Well, yeah, we brought... They brought everybody. We okay. brought uh, my dad. Her mom was born here. I wonder if Bill came as a baby. Do you remember that? I could read. I could read John Shield Hino. I think he's born in 1899. So depending what year they came. 1902 did you say? Well, that's what I remember. So yes, he might have been two or three. Three. Do you know... Then my dad was nine years old. My mother was. We came at the same time. But so they were. But with my. Okay, that's my grandmother and her that you're talking about great great grandparents now. Yours, not mine. Right. Anyway, they came and they lived on that homestead uh, northwest of Felina. They never moved any other place, lived there all their life. Is that Yellow Creek? N no, it's only uh, me and my husband lived in Yellow Creek. Okay. That's way far. As I don't think Yellow Creek was then. There was no... Um, but great, great grandparents, hers and mine, they lived on the farm all their life till Grandpa passed away and Grandma, they never moved any place. Okay. <coughs> Do you so, know why they came to Canada, the whole well, family? Ask me. <laughs> I think I'm old, but I can. Okay. Well, they all came because they, they were, you know, the, the country there was tightening the poor people. They had a piece of land. They were so, so, when they, that way, they went because somebody was telling me that Canada are giving for $10 160 acres. So that's why they came. When they bought that land for $10, they're living. Do you know any stories about them coming over on the boat? On the ship. Ship. Some kind of wooden ship, I <laughs> Any idea how long that took them, or if there's any stories oh, about... Oh, it took them weeks, they said. Weeks. Because it was slow. Right. They took what they can, and... I got pictures of grandma and grandma and grandmas. <clears throat> and what city back in Europe did they live in before they came? Where? What do you mean? Where, where in Europe did they come from? John Malimuk has that. It's Lushki oh. Hordank. I went to, Uk to Ukraine, so we went to Hordank. That was a town. And Lushki was a, a rural area. Like, like you know, it was already a community thing. I remember, and I asked those people, how far is that Lushkiw? Because they were born in, in at home on the farm. Right. And I and he said, Oh, it's about three miles now. It used to be six, but the town got bigger. And I used to look, nobody was gonna go there because those guys were I wanted to go there. <laughs> but I did. But he went to Horodanka, where my dad went to school. That school was still there. Were you able to find any relatives? 
I was trying to get to Canada. Well, they came to Canada, but you, they never talked about it. Do you know how they spelt the last name in the old country? Where? Before they came to Canada? How did everyone spell the last name? Oh, the, this M Y L Y M O K, Merlimuk. Okay. That's how. That was. Now they spell the English way, but that. That's how okay. they spell. So your grandparents came over with their children. Right. Do you know anything about? No, my. Oh my. Are you? Uh, you talk about my grandfather, my dad's. Yeah, yeah. Do you know anything about your your grandparents? Okay, let's talk about your side of the family. Okay. <laughs> because that's Malemuk. Because I can we start talking okay. my mother's side. Okay. I know my mother's side, but this is your side of the family. <laughs> right. So that they came only with with my dad okay. and Bill, Uncle Bill. Bill lived a hundred and three. Yeah. That's my uncle. Right. My dad was sorry. So do you have any stories about your grandparents that did not yeah. come to Canada? Well, my grandfather's, I heard Bill came, he was here, and my mother remembered, and there was Peter, but they told me when they came to Canada, Bill was lived, and my dad was here, and Grandpa lived, P Grandpa's brother went away, and he didn't go far to Alberta, but that was, that was far away. Right. <laughs> there was that brother, and now, this John Merriman uncle was telling me Grandpa had two sisters. He found that out and I found them. But my mother had the first name and John asked me, who are Grandpa's married to? Nobody knows. Hmm. Nobody talked about it. Right. I remember Grandpa, my Grandpa and her. He was, he was at one time his Grandson asked me at the, at some reunion, how did Grandpa look like? What did Grandpa? And I looked at Bill. I said, like you. <laughs> <laughs> like you. But you know what? Now, as long as I know, because my grand, my dad was baptized in in old country, and his mother. His, my grand, my dad's mother, that's our grandma. When she was a girl, her name was Boychuk. She was Lena Boychuk. Her, you wrote that, Jean? My our grandmother, Melemuk, was uh, Lena Boychuk when she was a girl. That's as far as I know. Mm -hmm. No, she was a girl. How old were you when when the family moved to Alvina? How old are you? Not very. How about four? Oh. I remember at Alvina being five years old. Okay. When I wanted a bicycle ride. Right. <laughs> Do you think maybe your family moved simply because more children? They wanted a bigger house. No, they just. And after we grew, went, I went to school all that year. Okay. And then my sister got married when she was when we moved to Sokol. Then she got married. Then two years later, I got married. Seventeen. I wrote that in my history. Right. <laughs> I wrote. You want to read? They, you know what? You're gonna get a book for the whole Saskatchewan. So they're going to put all that. Yeah. That's what they tell me. I told John. I said, by the time they publish that book and if I'm not there, you make sure you get the book. 